Now then, an invention not to be sniffed at. Scientists have developed a high-tech nose which can detect faint smells within a second. So what use is that, you might ask? Well, it can help monitor air pollution and, uh, more seriously, it could revolutionise the way police search for buried bodies. Richard Brown reports. When murder squad detectives launch a hunt for a body, the search can be long, arduous and sometimes fruitless. Costly manpower is expended on speculative searches. But scientists at Leicester University have developed this, a high-tech sniffing device, the proton transfer reaction time of flight mass spectrometer. It can break down and analyse faint smells in a single minute. This is the machine that we use to, to fingerprint the air. We draw the breath in into this reaction chamber here where we add the chemical ink to distinguish the individual components. We draw down then the ink that's sticking to the components and we weigh the different parts of it. We speed off the molecules down here and they arrive at the bottom here where we can produce the chemical fingerprint. It sounds a little gruesome but one uh, particular area is in the uh, detection of uh, dead bodies. I mean, when, uh, when someone dies and the body's buried underground, it decomposes and that naturally leads to the emission of a variety of organic gases. And what we can do is actually detect uh, a fingerprint of all those organic gases uh, being released by the body. Those gases will permeate through the soil and uh, by actually moving this instrument across, uh, say, an area of waste ground, we would be able to actually detect the presence of a body. The machine could also be used to check pollution emissions, but other possibilities are not to be sniffed at. And one thing you could imagine doing with this is telling, whether, telling the public whether they're being ripped off. You could imagine measuring perfume here and seeing whether that perfume is the real McCoy or whether you're being sold snide goods from the market. The only thing that remains is for the device to be miniaturised. Scientists reckon they can reduce it down to the size of a large briefcase. Richard Brown for Central News.